hello guys welcome back to my ig tv and first of all i would like to thank you all for all the feedback and the views really helped me a lot and that's why i'm here again with another video and the topic for today's video is your interview day that what is going to happen when you are going for an interview a lot of people ask me kya hoga jab hum interview ke liye jayenge pehle kya hoga kya karna hai so i'm going to answer that today so guys first of all is that you are going to wake up get ready wear nice formals do good grooming and take all the documents and reach the venue now as soon as you are going to reach the venue you are going to find a huge crowd like you waiting for their turn so what you are going to do is same you will wait until someone will come and ask you for your resume and give you the form now guys this form is going to ask you about your name number email address why so that they can contact you later or to just collect the data and they have some other things to do with that so let's not talk about it and then you will again wait until someone announces your name so someone is going to announce your name and you are going to get accompanied by four to five people from the same group and you five people will go ahead for your first round which is your hr round so you're going to reach hr and she is probably going to ask you to sit and collect your resume and maybe check your documents or maybe not depending on the time so then she is going to ask you about yourself and that is going to be a first question that is tell me something about yourself this is the basic question which everyone's ask and there is a possibility that she can ask an other question to check your communication skills and if she doubts your communication skills she is definitely going to ask her another question and after you are done she is going to send you back and then again you will wait so that they can announce the results now they are going to announce the results and check your bmi that is obviously your height your weight your skin to check the scars and tattoos and marks and everything so let me tell you about height height minimum for girls is 155 cm and for boys it is 160 cm so you after checking your bmi you they'll tell you then and there that if you are up for the third round or not so in case if you are not up for the third round or in case you get rejected after two rounds then the most important thing is that you cannot appear for same company until you complete Six months. That means, so you gave first round, you got through. Second round, you got through, and then when you went till third round, you get rejected, or before that, you get rejected on your second round. You cannot give interview again for same company until you complete six months, and after six months, you can give. Then, what happens is sometimes when airlines or the companies they travel to another city, so what do they do? They send the HR for two rounds. and the hr will ask you to go back home and wait for the mail and yes this happens need not to panic you have to wait for probably 15 days or until 15 days you will get the mail and then again you have to travel to another city for your third round so again you have to carry your documents and new nice formals and on your third round that will be probably group discussion they take group discussion to check your thinking ability that how do you think how fast you respond and how the how you behave and how you talk sometimes what happens is that when we are on gd we lose our temper we start shouting we are going to basically check that do you make sense when you are speak or you are speaking just for the sake of speaking so you know they are going to check that and gd is uh, going to happen with 10 people and you have to speak turn by turn that is not a fight so basically they are going to give you any topic like demonetization or statue of unity or something like that and then you have to speak turn by turn like someone will speak and then it will be your turn or you can raise your hand and ask that may i speak and then you are going to speak on gd and after your gd is done they will again send you back out and you have to wait for your results ask you to prepare yourself for the last round which is the most important round and that is pi personal interview so guys pi is taken by any higher authority of the company that can be president vice president or you know someone to that level so you are going to wait and then you are then now this is the round where they check how you walk how you talk how you sit even your nail paint 
so you have to do nice grooming and wear nice formals as i told and then you are going to wait for your turn they will announce your name you have to go inside you have to like properly knock the door open the door ask may i come in and then that crown will you know take place after that crown is done again you will go out and wait for the results so you're going to wait there they're going to announce the results and let's suppose that you got through and you are select then they will provide you the booklet or some documents where you have to sign that which base do you want and congratulations you are in and maybe your offer letter so that this documentation is done after this documentation is done you have to go back your home that can be another city another town or the same city so you go back home and wait for the mail for your medicals most probably medicals uh, take less time like two to three days or one week so then you have to wait and then you, they will call you or they will email you for the medicals so you will go to the hospital which is decided by the company they will again provide you the form where you're going to write your name and you'll go to the doctor and he's going to mark ticks and take your blood test urine test your uh, sonography and everything everything that is not our duty or our responsibility to know so they're going to take the test and after your blood test is done again you have to wait for your medical results so that this thing is going to take the time like maybe three months it it takes this much time because obviously company has a lot of people you know they're hiring and daily checkups and everything so you have you have to wait and you have to keep your calm a lot of people call me and ask and text me hamara medical ho chuka hai but abhi tak joining nahi aai hai hum mein bulayenge bhi ya nahi so you have to just keep your calm and you have to wait so again if you are fit to fly they will mail you if you are not fit to fly they will again mail you and they will call you and ask you if you are available to join and join as in join the training initial training so they will call you and give you the joining date and you have to go again to another town for your joining and you will reach there first day will be your orientation and they are going to ask you to sign contract letters and they will give you some booklets and some books and some you know company stuff and then from next day your training will start that is your three months training in that three months training your company is going to train according to them according to their grooming according to their uh customer service according to their emergency procedures according to their first aid and accord everything according to them and also let me tell you that your company can even reject you when you are in your three months training because if you fail suppose you fail once so they will give you another chance you fail twice they can give you warning letter and give you another chance once again that but again if you fail there is a possibility that your company can relegate you they can reject you even if you are in your three months training if you're not able to clear the exams if you're not able to clear the training they can reject you they can kick you out of the company so do not think ki offer letter mil gaya hai sare rounds clear kar liye hain to ab hum to to hame koi hata nahi sakta that is that is false they can still kick you out so you need to understand that and prepare yourself well so that you won't face any problem when you are in training like some people they know they know no grooming and then they go to the company and they believe that company will train them about everything but when you reach there and they will just tell you that apply the foundation and you don't know how to apply the foundation and they can even reject you for that so understand that that you should know basic things not basic essay not basic first aid but basic things which is required for your joining so you will get the joining you will be there for 3 months they are going to give you good training you have to pass all the tests like essay and emergency exams first aid exams everything you have to pass all these exams and after completing 3 months or maybe 3 and a half you are going to get your wings and your license to fly that is your competency card and you will get the competency card and your license to fly and after that you will go to your base and after that you are going to fly so guys i made this video to tell you that interview rounds cracking interview rounds joining and waiting it is it takes a lot of time need not to panic need not to hurry a lot of people call abhi tak joining nahi hai dusri airlines ka interview de dete hain ye kar lete hain wo kar lete hain don't do that just wait you have to wait you need to keep yourself calm and you need to have some good patience 
because understand that it's a huge company and they need some time so again the purpose of that video is to inform you that you should start preparing now what you guys do is you complete your graduation with the certificate of graduation and then you start preparing so you invest four to five months preparing then you invest four to five months giving interviews of all the airlines and then it depends on your luck and how you have prepared if you get through on your first interview that's very good if not then obviously you have to keep on giving interviews again and again and again and after you get through you have to wait for medicals you have to wait for your joining you have to wait for everything so it takes six months at least when you read when you receive your joining letter when you receive your medical results so it takes six months so again you're going to waste good amount of time if you're going to wait and if you're going to still if you're still waiting to prepare so guys start preparing now onwards so that you can just know that it's interview tomorrow and you take your resume and give the interview and rest of the part is obviously procedure so you have to wait for it so i hope you will like this video too and thank you so much Bye bye